Hello, intergalactic kayak fishing community. I'm Tyne, you're watching Gak in Texas. Hey, welcome back to Yak in Texas. I'm Ty. I get a lot of questions about offshore BTB fishing gear. So I figured we'd just start from the top and I'd show you what I use. As for how we haul the kayaks, I use my truck, which is a uh, Dodge Dakota four-door pickup. I use the truck bed extender, which I think is the coolest thing ever invented, especially for a big kayak like the Pro Angler. You don't have to lift it overhead on a ladder rack. It just slides right in the back of my truck. As for PFDs, buy the nicest one you can find. Something comfortable, having places to put gear like uh, pliers or, or a walkie-talkies handy. Um, I also keep an extra PFD in the hull. It's just more flotation and why not? As far as anchors go, that two pound claw anchor you can't beat. It's really cheap. Or the Bruce Claw. Both of them are less than 13 bucks. Uh, we use about three times the length and rope of water we're fishing. We generally fish about 50 foot of water, so that's about 150 feet of line. That gives you a nice slow slope to your line, lets the anchor drag and catch. If it's straight up and down, it'll just lift right up. A lot of current out there, so you gotta have good scope on your anchor line. One of the best safety devices you can have offshore is your cell phone turned to the off position. There's a lot of cell towers out there for the offshore workers, so you go in and out of good reception. In fact, the reception's too good because I have a lot of buddies that are out there doing business. I don't like it. I like to just fish. Wouldn't be caught dead offshore without my Hawaiian spear gaff. It's just a shovel handle with thread all pounded in and sharpened really sharp. With a traditional hook gaff, you hook the fish, it really makes them mad. They come in thrashing, they break ankles, they break tackle. The Hawaiian spear gaff, you spear them behind the head, it kills them on impact, you lift them in. Awesome thing for the kayak fishermen. Anytime I want to lip grab a fish, I go for the fish grip. It floats, it doesn't rust, it's great in your kayak. When BTB, a heavy duty set of pliers with cutters on it is essential. This is an old pair of Brownings I've had for a long time that work great. Bilge pump. This is a super critical thing for if your kayak starts taking on water. I have been a half mile off the beach in the Caribbean in a rental kayak that started taking on water. They get super tippy and you're gonna have to start thinking about swimming back. But for a dollar, at the dollar store, you can get one of those squirters, those pool toys, and you're good. For big fish, like cobia and kings, you can't beat those kingfish bags that take up the front nose of the kayak. For frozen bait, food, and lots of liquids, a good hard cooler works, or a thick soft cooler. Thick soft coolers can be stuffed into hatches, put behind you. They're very, very versatile. Bunky's Gas Station in Texas makes the best $20 thick soft cooler. Best bang for buck camera for kayak fishing is the Kodak Play Sport. It's about 120 bucks at Walmart and Best Buy. It's waterproof down 10 feet. Uh, it makes a loud beeping sound when you engage record. I have three of them and I love them. As far as mounting, get some PVC, some zip ties, and get creative. rod holders get creative get your milk crate pvc zip ties bungees and make it happen you can also put pvc in the oven and melt it just a little bit so you can bend it to shape here you'll see two scotty mounts up front in my pro angler those can be bought very inexpensively and they can be screwed just about anywhere in a kayak i think they're somewhere around the 15 dollars piece range so there you go there's some critical tackle for btb fishing until next time i'm tying you've been watching yak in texas Gut right there.